Good morning. It's currently about 6.45ish and I'm about to bake myself some breakfast. And then I also want to make myself some lunch on the go. The plan for today is to go to Christ the Redeemer and I think that the weather in the morning is better than the weather in the afternoon. So if I want a chance of seeing it, it has to be today because I'm not, like this is my last full day here. I am going back here to spend one more night before a flight, but like that's just to sleep and I don't know what time I'll be getting in and if I want to do it, I have to do it today. The weather might not be great, so I might not see anything, but I know that I will regret it if I do not try. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure how to get there and how it works. I've been, like I read somewhere to take the metro somewhere and then just stand in line wait for a van. I don't know if that's how it works. And I'm gonna walk to the metro in about, I don't know, half an hour-ish once I'm done eating. And then we're gonna try to go. I think the first van leaves at eight. Now I think there's gonna be a lot of people there already because, you know, people wanna get there first. You know, no more people, like not many people are there yet. I'm not too worried about that because let's be honest, Christ the Redeemer is high. So you're taking photos up towards the sky anyways. So like, mm, I don't think I'm getting a nice view, but I wanna try anyways. So yeah, Christ the Redeemer is pretty much the only plan I have for today. So let's go. I don't see a single bit of blue sky. I don't think I'm getting to see Christ the Redeemer, but I'm still going. to Christ the Redeemer, there is no visibility and I kind of got, well, I would say I got scammed a little bit uh, before I got here but I'll explain that once I'm back at the hostel because I don't have time right now but I got my ticket, I don't think we can see Christ the Redeemer but the last fan leaves here at 7 so it's now like 9.30 so I have until then I think that was it for Christ the Redeemer, so it's time to head back down the mountain. Even if the weather isn't perfect, it's still so, so worth it to go. So I've made it back to the hostel and I feel like I still need to explain what happened this morning. So I got to the ticket office for tickets to Christ to Redeem. Sorry if the music is too loud, they're playing music downstairs and they're doing construction. But I got to the ticket office and I was like, the ticket office wasn't open so I was just like waiting. And a guy comes up to me and he's like, oh you want to go? And I'm like, yeah I want to go but the ticket office isn't open yet. He's like, oh but like, I do it before it opens so that like when it opens it's not a massive line. And I was like, mm, okay. To explain to me like oh this and this and this and then you get to do something extra and I was like no, no I just want to do like go to Christ the Redeemer and come back and I might have been too tired to realize what was going on but what happened was it's like oh okay so it's 
the equivalent of like 30 euros. And I was like, oh, that's a lot of money. So I asked him, do you work for the company? Like, what's the difference between you and the company? Or like you and the ticket office? Like, oh, no, no, staff, staff, staff. And then he pointed at himself. So like he was staff. And I asked him like three times if he worked for them. He kept saying yes. So I was like, okay. Everybody else seemed to buy from him. So I was like, fine. Then he called someone. And I was already like, wait, the official like vans are out front. Why do you need to call anyone? But he called someone, a van showed up, and I was like, oh, this isn't, this is not, not it. But he took us to the van, he's like, oh, you have to go in. Something about names on the list, I'm not sure. And then I got on, two other people got on, and I turned around to like look at them, and I was like, do you speak English? And luckily, like they were, they spoke Portuguese, I'm not sure where they were from, but they did speak Portuguese. But they also spoke English. I was like, what's going on? Like, does he work for the company? She's like, no. It's like, is this a tour? She's like, yes. I was like, this is not what I wanted. So I was like, okay, thank you. So I told the driver, I was like, I'm getting out. So I opened the door and I ran across the traffic. Mm, I mean, my, I was ready to go to war. Like I was ready to, because things like this just don't work in my brain. So I, he's like, what's going on? And I was like, you told me, like, I, this is a tour. I told you I did not want a tour. You told me that you work for them, even though you don't. Like, why are you lying? Why do you think you get to lie to me? And he didn't really get a response from him. I was like, why are you lying? And he was like, oh, and then he came up with some BS story. And I didn't even let him finish. I was just, I was not interested in any excuse that he was going to make. So I was like, Stop talking, just give me back my money. And then he did give me back my money. He could see that I was very, very angry. Um, and then I went to the official ticket booth and I had to pay the equivalent of about 17 euros. So that's like 12, 13 euros safe. I didn't want to do the tour anyways. Like I just wanted somebody to take me up and then come back. And I asked him beforehand if you could, um, like I told him, like, look, I want to spend as much time as possible up there because it's cloudy. Okay, it's cloudy and I want to just, you know, if I have to spend like three, four hours there just to make sure that I get a glimpse of Christ the Redeemer. And he's like, yeah, no, you can take any van. I got the official van. I went up to the top and I saw the other two people who did stay in the van and they were like, oh, we should have gone out with you. like. We should have not gone on the tour and asked for our money back as well. But they did, just did the tour and I was like, wait, how long do you have up here? They were like, about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. I ended up spending just over two hours there, so it technically would have been fine. But like, he's just straight up lied to me about several things. Like, you could not take a different van back down. You had two hours up there and then you had to be back. He told me that I could take any van back down. That's BS. So... I was um, upset and angry and look I get wanting or having to make money but I asked him like several times do you work for them can I take any van back down and he just lied to me about everything and that's just not the vibe so but I did end up seeing Christ the Redeemer it was very very cloudy but I just waited for about two hours and I think we had like three moments where we had like good good visibility so i'm very happy that you couldn't really see the city like there was just like white all around in the cloud but that's okay i still saw a wonder of the world well new wonder of the world there and i just realized that i've been here for i think i left like five-ish days ago and I've seen the Colosseum and Christ the Redeemer. Like, that is two wonders of the world that I've seen in less than a week. Now, I've seen the Colosseum. I, I'd seen the Colosseum before, but still, two in one week. That's good. I am going to pack my bag, figure out how to get to the island for tomorrow. Because I still have no idea. No idea. And then I'm going to make myself some dinner and call it a day. So, I will see you tomorrow.